Hey everybody, it's Gamerogi. We're back with Folklore. Last time we started going through uh, the ancient palace, undersea palace, and water... Uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, it's under the water and it's a palace, so there you go. But uh, we just beat the big old dragon, Exedra, over here. Uh, and I think that's the way to the folklore, like it's just a couple rooms. And then we're going to be at the folklore, so. Uh, I want to fill out the rest of this map here. We might just have one room? Not really sure. Won't be too much longer. Look at all these ice dudes. How do you like fire? Ouch. They don't like it. Ouch. Okay, yikes. Don't die, man. Maybe I should go save, actually. Let's go save. Because <laughs> if I die, then uh, I'll go all the way back to my last save, and that would not be cool. Hey, Exedra. I'm gonna just leave you goodbye. Oh, hello. Unfortunate, really. Everything in the world is fated to crumble to nothing. So it is in the so it is in the netherworld. Thought disappears from human minds and so the afterlife is slowly forgotten. Can modern man create only a world like Warcadia? If so, then so be it. The netherworld is here for the benefit of the living. A bit different from how the fairies think. I suppose things don't always go as planned, both here and in the netherworld. The netherworld core. I can't wait to find out what kind of place that is. The folklore lives in the forgotten palace that lies beyond. Please be very careful. I shall. This is such a cool room right here. Look at that. Look at that thing, man. What even is this? Palace entrance? It's awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back. I didn't even save yet. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> I completely forgot why I even went in here in the first place. It's gonna heal me and everything. Okay, now let's go see that room. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in there that we really need, but, uh, you never know. Could be the last folk that I'm missing. Hi there. Hello there. Why is there, like, a watery barrier right there? Is that, like, an air pocket or something? Uh... Oh, you dang camels. Just kill them all. Oh my god, that ice shield. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god! Well... It looks like that's all that's going to be in here. <laughs> it might spawn more items after I beat them all, but I don't know. Uh. Oh yeah, see it says to use Gargantua to shoot down the dragon and then burn him. Yep. That's exactly what we did. No worries. I'm going to get this leave. Get it. Yee. <laughs> So I guess we're going to fight the folklore today. Oh boy. Honestly, I think it's a little bit easier as Keats, but uh, we didn't really have too much trouble with Helen. So, who knows? May flip-flop on me. Oh, alright, I'll tell you. I didn't even push you. <laughs> Who's the Lord? 
Brigantia lies ahead. It is a fearsome beast. We just beat Gar Br Brigantia as Ellen, down below. When the undersea city was in its prime, they captured it by freezing the water around it. You might be able to get it from behind. Of course, you'll have to freeze that area. So instead of electrifying its behind, we have to freeze its behind. Gotcha. Brigantia has run amok once before. The folks of the fairy realm helped us then. Okay. Cool, man. Cool, man. Here you will find the third folklore, Brigantia. Its existence is key to opening the seal of Baral. What is that? Forks and roads in the netherworld always represent big decisions. Uh... Okay. I thought there were, like, a place for dead people to go. I didn't realize they were, like, some crazy representation of people's subconscious or something. That just doesn't make sense to me. But this door makes sense because it's awesome looking. Look at this tube. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Get out the grand slam. Look at that. Look at the red and the blue. Oh, so lovely. Eat this. Nope. Give me this time. Stupid shield, man. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Here it is. Gentlemen, ah, there we go. So I, I guess I had to capture a certain number of them. Then I could do the killing of them both. I gotcha. I know these are like probably coral, but it sure do look tasty. Like big old Willy Wonka candies. Until you take a bite out of them, then maybe not. <laughs> Alright. We got our pages, so let's see how to beat this thing. Use a camel or basically any ice thing to freeze its butt. Chop it up. Freeze its head with the dragon, and then uh, kill it with the gargantua. I wonder if I actually have to use the dragon on that phase too. I wonder if I could just use like any freezing guy. Look at that! You can even see outside the wall. Fancy. A lot of detail work there. Okay, uh, let's see who I'm gonna use. I'm missing a folk. I'm not sure where or what it is. <laughs> uh, let's say... Let's 
Honestly, this guy's probably the easiest one to spam freezing attacks. Uh, I can have the shield guy. Gargantua. We'll keep the dragon around just in case. I can always swap these out. It's not too hard to swap, but... Yeah, this is way easier to freeze stuff. Look at that. Oh, I need the slicey dice, actually. Maybe that's the one I'm missing. Fraxinus? We went to all the areas, though. Just had those goo guys. Hmm. Unless I have to go into the swamp. I may have to go in the swamp. Oh well. That's fine. Ogma works. Pretty sure. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Welcome to Bergantia number two fight. Hey, it works. Look at that. That was not the one I wanted to push. Confound it. See, it's a lot easier to tell where he's gonna pop out here. The only problem with this arena is you can't walk in the middle. This is that big hole right there. So that's a problem. And you can tell which one he's gonna come out of because there's like bubbles. Yeah. It's very pretty though. Know? I'm safe! I'm safe! I'm not safe! That was a lie! Dang it! I keep doing that instead of that one. One piece down. That was a lot easier to freeze stuff with that. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, so close. Yet so very far. Got it. Oh, I can just like hang out right here. <laughs> That's funny. Ugh. Prepare to get frozen. So I guess they're like twin Brigantes. Uh oh, uh, not good. Are you gonna get frozen or? Thank you. Thank you. Don't get too greedy. Dang it. Where's my long range Fraximus? <laughs> God damn. This stupid hole. Alright, fine. I'll get you next time. Buddy. Slice him! Yeah. 
One more. We got an annoying head phase again. Really looking forward to that. Head him off! Head him off! Yeah, we got some hits. We got some hits. Yeah, you really only gotta dodge these first two uh, charging things he does. And then the third one, he just comes out lazy like. Freeze him with this. Oh god. It's uh Whew. I get hit by that. I get hit by that. Dude, you're so far away from me. Oh yeah, nice. That's very nice. Look like he really wants to hit me on the very edge there. <laughs> he blasts. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Blew his face off. Now we don't have to freeze him anymore. I think. <laughs> Hit him while he was spinning. Oh yeah. Going down, Brigantia. Yeah. Maybe not yet, but soon. You hit him with that. Bam! Come on. Jeez. Yeah, I don't even know if it can get me on the edge. That's funny. It's not even coming close enough. to do. We did it. <laughs> Sound effect. Well, hello, Herv. What are you doing up here? A change of heart? Yes, I'm not going to the swamp. I see. I just didn't want the doctor to suffer. But things are settled now. Yes, and all for the better. Why should you care? I sent Ellen instead. Hmm? What happened between you and the doctor? Nothing. He was killed. There must be a reason. Dr. Lester wasn't scared of my condition. He stayed with me until the end. Nothing more. Keats, I have a favor to ask. Dr. Lester wrote a will. Make sure Mrs. Lester does not see it. Uh... 
What? Why not tell Ellen? I don't wish to involve her further. Please, if anything happens to Ellen, you must help her. Sure. I like my protagonists to work together. Yeah. Oop. Hey, Levain. I downed the folklore. That makes three now. So you want to go to the Netherworld core? Ellen chased after the boy as I expected. I can ask her about it back in the real world. That's why I wanted to keep on searching. But it seems I was on the wrong track. From here on, you need to watch yourself. Why me? I don't have anything to do with you. That's not it. He's probably upset because he isn't able to manipulate you like he can his subjects. The Fairy Lord is wary of humans other than Ellen reaching the Netherworld core. But I'm a mischievous sort, and when I hear things like that, I get interested. <laughs> well, great. I'm gonna pick a fight with the Fairy Lord, I guess. From now on, I'll be, I will be in great danger. Please, all I ask is that you come to the Netherworld and bear witness to my fate. Whoa, what? Levain, you think you're gonna lose? With your cool, fancy clothes and everything? Alright. To Doolin! Okay, the church. Can I get in? Well, there's always a way in. We may need to pick up a brick, but uh, we can get in, yeah. It's just a building. I mean, come on. He doesn't want Mrs. Lester to see Mr. Lester's will. I wonder why. I bet he put Herv in there as like, <laughs> he gets all my possessions or his family. Just anyone but my wife, my god. I don't know why he would do that, though, because his wife is pretty awesome. So. She stuck with him while he was being a, a lame-o. Not telling her anything. Don't go in my clinic, dear. I don't want you in there. The door is unlocked. Looks like someone was just here. They took the will already. We're dead. The one promise we ever made. Indeed, the doctor really did have a will. He considered suicide, but was soon killed. Dear Teresa, 17 years ago, I set off a chain of events that caused much misery. I am certain that the latest deaths are related. I cannot bear the weight, and I will take my own life. Oh my god. He caused it? What? I'm sorry for the pain I have caused you. Thank you for not once assailing my silence. With all of my love, Roger. He caused the deaths of all those villagers? I kind of doubt it. But, I don't know. <laughs> How? Medical mishap? Or something else entirely? It's like Silent Hill? And who killed him? I don't know. Lots of questions. No answers. Okay, well. That was chapter three. We're done with it. No more chapter threes. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to end it here, guys. Next time we'll start Chapter 4 as Ellen. Um, the next Netherworld, I've only actually practiced that as Ellen, so <laughs> I probably should start practicing again. 
It's a pretty crazy place, and it reminds me, like I said before, uh, it re reminds me a lot of Alice Madness Returns, so it's it's a little creepy. Um, but we're gonna go through it and uh, see what happens. So yeah, see you guys next time.